Mr. Ishikawa, Karu Ishikawa was a Japanese organizational theorist in Japan, and at the time of his passing, he was 74. Mr. Ishikawa was a professor in the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Tokyo. He was made famous for his quality management innovations. He, he is considered a key figure in development in the quality initiatives in Japan. He was also the, more, the foremost Japanese leader in the, Japan, in, Jap in the Japanese quality improvement. He assisted with the development of the basic seven tools for continuous improvement. But he's best, but he's known most famously for his fishbone diagram. So what is lean manufacturing? Lean manufacturing, from our research, promotes world-class manufacturing and is a generic process management philosophy which resulted from the Toyota production system. It really focuses on waste elimination. It aims to reduce those steps that do not add value to customers and it allows for continuous improvement in the process and the product. Seven types of waste that were identified were overproduction. This is the most dangerous type of waste because it can incur other costs such as storage. Waiting here really results from poor flows, whether it be design or information, where goods aren't moving. Transportation means the movement of goods from one location to the next, which may result in goods being lost, stolen, or even damaged. Movements mean any movement or motion that doesn't add value to the process is considered a wastage. Under process, we sometimes have over-processing, where we're using very expensive resources that we do not really need to have this product manufactured. Under stocks, we may have overstocking or excess inventory, which we know takes up space and it can increase delays in finding problems. And under flaws or defects, this know, we know means that the goods have to be reproduced, which means work has to be redone, which is a waste. The three spheres of quality are quality management, quality assurance, and quality control. Quality management really is the overseeing or the ensuring of the consistency and the quality of a good or service. Quality assurance really refers to the proactive activities to guarantee the quality of a product or service. Some of the quality assurance activities can include experimental design, reliability, product testing, process improvement. It's quality control now. It really aims to fill the quality requirements. It is more of an inspection characteristic and it is reactive because you find the problems after they occur. Some of the activities may include process capability, developing and maintaining control charts, reducing process variability and processing process performances. So how does the lean manufacturing tool apply to quality management, quality assurance and quality control? Well, the answer is really through the different methods of lean manufacturing. One of the methods is value stream mapping, which is really a graphical display of material flow from information of the production system. It really shows its task from start to beginning. Now, because of this, we're able to identify waste throughout the process. We can eliminate the waste and we can also improve process. The 5S method is really a tool that allows for you to have a clean, safe and secure environment that's well organized. The method goes in the order of Seiri, Seiton, Seisu, Sekitsu and Shitsuki, which means sort, set in order, shine, standardize and sustain. The application to quality management, assurance and control is seen here because it is an inclusive method where all members of staff from top management to subordinates or junior staff really have to be involved it allows you to reduce the waste and it also allows you to improve your processes. The single minute exchange of dye is another method which really tries to basically tries to reduce the equipment change over time so that when you have one manufacturing, one product being manufactured, sorry, you want that product to change the next product in the shortest space of time. The single minute here doesn't really refer to one minute, it refers to any minute between one and nine. The application to quality management here shows where it can improve your processes, reduce waste, and reduces process variability. Tools for laying standard work. This tool allows the company to know how much work is in progress and is needed. 
the number of operators needed, the way in which the contents of the work is divided, and knowledge about the time it takes to make a product. The Leon Standard Work Project shows the need to analyze, observe, and then design how things should be before even thinking about building the new process. The tools are a production capacity chart, a work combination chart, a work methods chart, and a standard operations chart. The production capacity chart involves the understanding of how many times each process can be repeated to ensure you have enough capacity to meet a regular demand. The work combination chart, this defines the best use of each operator's time in tandem with tact. Work methods chart, chart shows in detail how each operator will process the work as standard and the standard operation chart brings it all together as a visual document for operators to follow in the cell. Next slide. Lien's effort is to reduce cost to end customers dissatisfaction. Most business use Lien manufacturing principles will attempt to eliminate defects to decrease and the added cost of reworking parts and components. Lien manufacturing stress upon continuous improvement, which is a system of small incremental changes to improve efficiency and, and eliminate waste. Next slide. For process, for process, the main idea is to cap capitalize on customer value while minimizing waste. Lien can be defined as creating more value for customer with fewer resources. The process is structured to understand customer's value and focus its main process to continuously intensify it. The main aim is to provide optimum value to all the customer through a perfect value creation process that has no waste. Next slide. Supply change man management requires business to scrutinize every process in their supply chain and recognize areas that are used on necessary resources that can be measured in dollars, time, or even raw material. The analysis can expand a company's competitiveness, its, cu its customer service, and the company's overall profitability. Customer satisfaction and value. The tool is about looking at processes from the customer's perspective and taking out waste. Activities that add Value for the customer. Companies which invest in the Leon tool have benefited from reduced cost and happier customers. In the world of service providers, customers have been conditioned to expect a high standard of service. So it is critical that your company is responsive to their needs. Having this in mind, service providers or product provi providers in that for that instance are required to be flexible and adaptive. Now we're going to look at the re learnings. Reduce organization costs and increase efficiency and, efficiency and effectiveness. This is done through the learn process management. It's a quality process which developed in, in the Chinese manufacturing industry to have a Zero wastage and yet produce the produce the best quality products with with little resources as possible. 
it is often mixed up with the lean mixed up with the lean with lean lean is always mixed up with the six sigma process six sigma they tend to overlap but they fit but they are very different whereas lean focuses on waste reduction sigma emphasizes variation of reduction as b improve your existing work environment processes this is based on the five s's and we're just going to indicate three for three for now which is usage to avoid wastage of resources and space organization the organization we're there for the organization we tend to organize and work efficiently and cleaning always keep the environment clean We are going to improve, looking at three other things, improve existing products. This is done through a do check, do check act model. The organization, the organization would aim to result in process orientation work. It is done through continuous changes to the product where, based on what the class customer says, or if it's how it's being, if it's being sold, or how it is being sold based on the market value, based on what's happening with the product in the market. Okay. There are four steps to do it. Uh, four steps to do it. You can do by planning, doing, checking, and constantly checking the product to make sure it's at the quality standards the company wants, and constant continuous improvement. Creating, we're going to D, creating a new product. Creating a new product that is a little tricky because you tend that is based on your how it's selling into the market, how your how your customers react to it. Okay, because your customers are your backbone of your business. You find out if how is struggling, how would they need help with, how is how is are they able to deal with it, are they able to use it to their satisfaction? If not, then we have then it is always best to take back the product and revamp it and take their advice on how to get, how to create a new product that will satisfy them. You do so by doing either doing surveys, or doing a test test do, doing surveys or doing a test run within the market of the product create customer satisfaction you can create customer satisfaction by constantly speaking to the customer making sure the customer is happy with the new product that is bringing that is being ex being brought on or being finding out if they're happy with the old product and which what in what way can it influence can it assist them in being happy and kind of how we can you assist them by being focused on the customer their needs and their wants have any customer could also be, could, you could also employ empower your employee to assist with the cost employee with this with the um development su customer satisfaction um because customer again as i said before customers are the backbone of your thing so the backbone of your business if they are not happy your product will not sell you need to keep them happy and by this is by either if you're in a service industry, keep your employees tra um, trained at all times, have any latest new machinery, or have any latest apps for them to use within their at their easiest grasp. 